hello friends welcome to pm networking guys today in this video we are going to discuss how to configure ssh on cisco router i am going to show you how to configure ssh on cisco router with the help of gns3 but before configuring understand what is ssh so guys ssh is a protocol which use port number 22 and SSH is a protocol which is used to take remote access of networking device. It is similar to Telnet, but if if you will compare SSH to Telnet, then definitely SSH is more secure than Telnet. Telnet is not secure, and SSH is secure. But both protocol is used to take remote access of networking device. But Telnet is not secure and SSH is secure. So I am going to show you how to configure SSH on Cisco router. In the same way, you can configure on real device as well. So without wasting our time, let's start. So guys, as you can see over here, we have two routers R1 and R2 and 12.2 .2 on this interface, right? After configuring IP, I will configure SSH on R2 ssh on r2 and i will show you how to access r2 from r1 in secure environment right so first of all let me configure ip on r1 so let me take access of r1 now go to configure terminal mode that interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 no shutdown ip address 12.1.1.1 255.255.255.0 is subnet mask fine now no need to configure anything on r1 let me configure r2 let me configure r2 so first of all let me configure ip so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 no shutdown ip address suppose 12.1.1.2 not suppose this is 12.2 on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 submit mask is 255.255.255.0 right let me show you i am able to ping 12.1 from here or not 12.1.1.1 so yes i am able to ping yes now let me configure ssh so before configuring ssh right you need to configure host name and domain name. So host name is just name of your router. Right now name of my router is R2. Right. You can see host name is R2. Let me configure host name PM. Okay. So host now host name is PM. After that configure domain name. IP domain iPhone name. So domain name. Suppose the domain name is www.pmnet.com pmnet.com pmnet stand for pmnetworking.com okay so my domain name is www.pmnet.com and my host name is pm fine now create line vty line vty zero zero means a single person can access this device at a time right if i will put one over here that means two device can access Two, two user can access this device at, at a time, right? If I will put 15 over here, that means 16 device can access R2 at a time, right? So now I am I only R1 will access R2. So let me put zero only or you can put 15 as well, right? That means 15 device can access this device at a time. After that, lo login local, okay? And now time to configure ssh so to, to enable ssh on r2 let run this command transport input ssh okay now exit now in global configure mode you need to you need to run one more command that is crypto actually you have to generate r rsa 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 for encryption purpose right so to generate rsa you need to run this command crypto key generate rsa right this command right this is just for encryption purpose okay let me enter this command now you can change the size as well as you can see how many bits in the modulus right so range is from 360 to 
four four zero six nine right higher number will more secure so let me put one zero one zero fine okay right now guys you need to you need to create username and password so username is suppose cc and a and suppose password is one two three four username is cc and a and password is one two three four actually this is for login purpose right this is for login purpose okay now let me enter okay now go to r1 and let me show you how to access r2 ssh iphone l ssh iphone l after that domain name so domain name is sorry no domain name username so username is ccna sorry ccna domain name uh, username is c c n a after that ip address of r2 is 12.1.1.2 enter now r1 is asking for password so password is 1234 it may enter now you can see i have access of pm router right r2 now you can run enable command right you can see no password set so you need to configure one enable password on r2 so go to r2 let me configure one enable password enable password suppose enable password is 123 okay now go to r1 and let me run same enable command over here enable and password is 123 enter you can see i have access of pm so running configuration so you can see so guys this is how you can configure ssh on real device and on gns3 as well okay so if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel for more video like this please click on bell icon so that whenever i will upload next video you will get notification thank you thanks for watching that's all for